High in the mountains of West Java, Indonesia, lies a place shrouded in mystery. Gunung Padang, meaning Mountain of Enlightenment, is a megalithic site steeped in debate. It is a vast complex of stone columns, terraces, and walls spread across a hilltop. Some researchers believe it to be the oldest pyramid in the world, predating even the Egyptian pyramids. Others argue it is a natural formation, sculpted by the forces of geology over millennia. The site was first documented in 1914 by Dutch colonists. However, it wasn't until the late 20th century that Gunung Padang began attracting serious archaeological attention. Initial excavations revealed intriguing patterns in the stone arrangements. These discoveries fueled speculation about the site's true origins. Was this a product of human ingenuity, a testament to a lost civilization, or was it a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature? The debate continues to this day. Gunung Padang stands as a challenge to our understanding of the past. It is a reminder that the universe, and indeed our own planet, still hold many secrets waiting to be uncovered. The claim of Gunung Padang as a man-made pyramid is bold. It challenges conventional timelines of civilization. Proponents of this theory point to several key pieces of evidence. The site's layout, they argue, is too precise to be accidental. The terraces, walls, and pathways suggest a deliberate design. Furthermore, ground-penetrating radar has revealed chambers and passageways beneath the surface. These structures, they believe, hint at a complex and ancient civilization. Radiocarbon dating of organic materials found at the site has yielded controversial results. Some samples date back thousands of years, potentially pushing back the timeline of human civilization in the region. These findings have been met with both excitement and skepticism. The possibility of a pyramid older than any other known structure is tantalizing. However, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The debate over Gunung Padang is far from settled. It is a testament to the power of curiosity and the enduring allure of the unknown. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of our planet, we must approach such discoveries with both open minds and a healthy dose of skepticism. While the idea of an ancient pyramid is captivating, many scientists believe Gunung Padang's origins are entirely natural. Geologists argue that the site's features are consistent with volcanic formations found elsewhere in the world. They point to the presence of columnar jointing, a geological process where cooling lava naturally forms polygonal columns. These columns, they argue, could have been mistaken for man-made structures. Furthermore, the hill on which Gunung Padang sits is itself a volcanic dome. Over millennia, erosion and weathering could have shaped the volcanic rock into the terraces and formations seen today. This natural explanation, they argue, is far more plausible than the existence of a lost civilization with the capacity for such monumental construction. The debate highlights the importance of considering all possible explanations before jumping to conclusions. The scientific process demands rigorous testing and verification. While the allure of the unknown is powerful, it is essential to approach such mysteries with a critical eye. Only through careful analysis and open debate can we hope to unravel the true story of Gunung Padang. Geologists have conducted extensive studies at Gunung Padang, seeking to understand the site's formation. Their findings paint a compelling picture of natural processes at work. Analysis of the rock formations reveals they are composed of andesite, a type of volcanic rock common in the region. The columnar jointing observed at the site is a hallmark of volcanic activity, further supporting the natural origin theory. Seismic surveys have revealed the internal structure of the hill. These surveys show no evidence of chambers or passageways that would be expected in a man-made pyramid. Instead, they reveal a solid mass of volcanic rock, consistent with a natural dome formation. The geological evidence, while not conclusive, strongly suggests that Gunung Padang is a product of natural forces. The debate over the site's origins highlights the ongoing dialogue between archaeology and geology. Understanding the Earth's processes is crucial for interpreting archaeological findings. In the case of Gunung Padang, the geological evidence provides a compelling counterpoint to the pyramid theory. The scientific process is not without its missteps. In 2023, a paper claiming to provide evidence for the man-made pyramid theory was retracted from a prominent journal. The retraction came after concerns were raised about the paper's methodology and data analysis. 
This event served as a reminder of the importance of scientific rigor and peer review. The retraction does not necessarily disprove the man-made pyramid theory, however, it does highlight the need for caution when interpreting scientific findings. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and the burden of proof lies with those making such claims. The debate over Gunung Padang is ongoing, and further research is needed to fully understand the site's origins. The retraction also underscores the self-correcting nature of science. While mistakes can happen, the scientific community is committed to identifying and addressing errors. The pursuit of truth is a collaborative endeavor, and open debate is essential for advancing our understanding of the world around us. The mysteries of Gunung Padang extend beyond the realm of science. Local traditions and folklore offer their own interpretations of the site's origins. For generations, the surrounding communities have viewed Gunung Padang as a sacred place. Legends speak of ancient kings and mystical events associated with the mountain. Some stories tell of a great flood that submerged the world, leaving only the peak of Gunung Padang above water. Others describe it as a place where gods once walked the earth. While these stories may not provide concrete evidence of the site's origins, they offer valuable insights into the cultural and spiritual significance of Gunung Padang. They remind us that our understanding of the past is shaped not only by scientific inquiry, but also by the stories we tell and the beliefs we hold. The intertwining of science and folklore at Gunung Padang highlights the complex relationship between objective observation and subjective interpretation. It is a reminder that the past is not a static entity, but a tapestry woven from both tangible evidence and intangible narratives. Gunung Padang is not alone in its ambiguity. Throughout the world, there are numerous examples of natural formations that have been mistaken for man-made structures. In the United States, Devil's Tower in Wyoming was once thought to be a giant tree stump, but is now understood to be a volcanic intrusion. Similarly, the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, with its iconic hexagonal columns, was long attributed to mythical giants, but is now known to be the result of volcanic activity. These examples highlight the human tendency to find patterns and meaning in the natural world. They also underscore the importance of scientific inquiry in distinguishing between natural phenomena and human artifacts. The study of geology, archaeology, and other disciplines allows us to appreciate the full spectrum of Earth's creative forces, both natural and human-made. The comparisons between Gunung Padang and other enigmatic sites around the world emphasize the interconnectedness of our planet's history. They remind us that the search for knowledge is a global endeavor, and that by sharing our discoveries and insights, we can gain a deeper understanding of our shared human story. The ongoing debate surrounding Gunung Padang serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of scientific inquiry in understanding our past. It highlights the need for rigorous methodology, data analysis, and open debate in the pursuit of knowledge. While the allure of mystery and speculation is undeniable, it is essential to approach such enigmas with a critical eye and a commitment to evidence-based conclusions. The study of history, archaeology, and geology is an ongoing process of discovery and re-evaluation. New technologies and methodologies constantly emerge, allowing us to re-examine old questions with fresh perspectives. The case of Gunung Padang demonstrates that even seemingly solid conclusions can be challenged and revised as our understanding evolves. Ultimately, the pursuit of truth is a collaborative endeavor. It requires open communication, respectful debate, and a willingness to consider alternative viewpoints. By embracing these principles, we can continue to unravel the mysteries of our past and gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of our planet and its history. Gunung Padang stands as a testament to the enduring power of mystery. It is a place where science and folklore intertwine, where natural wonders spark the imagination, and where the quest for knowledge continues to unfold. Whether a product of human ingenuity or the awe-inspiring forces of nature, Gunung Padang serves as a reminder of the vastness of time and the many secrets our planet holds. As we continue to explore and study this enigmatic site, we must approach it with both curiosity and humility. The pursuit of truth requires a willingness to embrace uncertainty, to challenge assumptions, and to remain open to new possibilities. 
Gunung Padang, with its enduring mysteries, invites us to embark on this journey of discovery and to marvel at the wonders of our world, both known and unknown.